Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with NASA Link. To join the adventure, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. Yes, my people. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the channel, you know. Welcome back to Original Living. You're here at NASA Lynx this morning, all right? You don't know the things, say, Back at an spear fishing adventure this morning. And this morning, the last two dive, I never catch a whole lot of fish. One, I never catch none. Yeah, man. So... This morning, I'm going to do a different kind of diving this morning. Yeah, man. I'm going to use one spear gun. I have my second spear gun. Yeah, man. I'm going to use no, 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 no chat line this morning. So, you don't know. And the reason why this morning, my sister and my mother, yeah, man, and my granny, from what year they have to some fish. But using the long spear gun, yeah, the big gun. We can't use if we harvest the amount of fish because when we use at the gun and mainly when we are go you know we just go out there go look fish for yourself or we are searching big fish, you understand? And all the while we catch big fish. Yeah man, so you don't know the thing set. We are go sit now the fish we are go look now, them now are go small still. Yeah, and you know, dinner size fish we are go look. So see the gun we are go use, yeah. I mean hold on my first spear gun this, you know? Yeah man, one rubber, pan it, and it's good speared fly gill see him everything. But you know, card of the pan this gun, so this gun is an easy gun to you know? And it have a lot of power like the big gun, so we can fire it under the rock and so called. That's why most of the time we grunt them and so I really take no shot after the grunt them because of the long gun. So like the, the nice squab them and the gold teal them and so you know? Now I go look at a lot of fish, you know, just a few pounds, you know. And I can share up with the, with the people that I just mentioned a while ago. Yeah, man. And I'm here in Canada this morning. Yeah, man. Canada down from the seaside away from me. So I walk down there, man. man. So I'm here in Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The water looking good. Although, you know, that early still. What time? After 10, you know. 12 minutes after 10. Yeah, man. Water flat, you know. Oh, so me see say clean to me not the hacks, cause me can't see all the rock, there. me can't see everything right here. So yeah, man, I hope see all the fish and fish and boat out there, the fish but One thing more about the current, you know, you know only hope the current good. I last time I come here, so one current I go up so dangerous, so I go up it good. Yeah, man, you looking good, you know. So we now go waste a lot of time. We have a few of our early with me, so we are going to jump off in the water, alright? So, stay tuned to the channel. Yeah, and go and watch the catch up. And this dive was a failure. The spear gun safety was giving me a whole lot of trouble. All the fish that I hear, the spear gun stuck. I couldn't take a shot. That was a nice snapper. The spear gun safety was the cause of that deer. That was a grunt. The spear gun shoot her by itself. So I have to abandon the dive. The gun give me a whole heap of trouble yesterday. The trigger, the spring of all the trigger, it drop off inside so the safety keep and a, 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 a go on a go on so the spear gun turn down you see if it lock run down and turn on so every time you hear my fish squeeze it you see if it is on and um they, 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 they never have no card for so I shoot a couple of fish and they fly straight through them I don't get no clip of that still but 
One snapper did it, one nice to snapper did it, I line him up. Squeeze, squeeze, I tell you. As I touch it, see if it does fly out. Yeah, man, so, me and Kenada will come back because yesterday, you know, we work out. Yeah, man, I'm gonna get some nice fish with my spear couple of guns with the spear gun and then get to see every spear gun. I'm gonna start it out and go back and I dive deep yesterday. Yeah, man, so you don't know the thing, so. Today, now, yeah, man, a big machine there today, you know? Mm -hmm. So, me and Kenada. Same spot we come back. We have to go down there. You know? We don't itch because you don't know. We have an inch already. You know? So, we know the water we can, alright? So, in the early days, the water was crystal clear. Your Kenado saw a little octopus. He was trying to prize him out with his spear gun. We didn't get him out, so we end up left him. So we head off to the deep, and that was a rainbow runner, a lovely one. It swam right past me, I didn't sigh it until it passed. out here the visibility wasn't too bad we could see a little so this is my first job and this is one of my favorite diving spots I always found good fish here But I saw nothing on this job. I just saw a red belly, so I head after it. But it went to hide in one of the holes in the rocks. I was trying to wait a little to see if it would come out back, but it didn't. Here I saw a few guns, so I was trying to see if I could spear one. There's a little snapper. That one was too small. Then at this spot, there's a whole lot of life. A lot of damselfish are the fish that we call blue parrot. This is a harder job at the same spot, trying to see if I could get one of the guns. But each time, I made the job, they head into the holes. There is one. I could have taken that shot, but I didn't. If I was using the smaller gun, I would have definitely taken that shot. 
that's the advantage the small gun has you can fire it anywhere not this one though this one will definitely get stuck So this is a harder job at a different spot. Saw nothing, only small fish. So here I saw a snapper swimming past, so I made a job trying to sneak down on it. Here it is. I go over the rock, it saw me and turn off. I took the shot, the spear barely hit it, but I didn't get it though. I saw it a little late. That would have been a lovely one. About a four pounder. So here is a jack. I took that one. And that's the first fish I speared. Wait, have you touched that subscription button yet? Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Here's a harder jack. I can get that one. It's Kenado dear. I'm heading back to the surface while he's heading down. I am coming from about 50 feet. And Kenado moves up the sea and he spear a lovely barracuda and have it in his fish bag. Here I saw some chops, so I decided that I want one. The camera battery died, it was recording for about 20 minutes, and I didn't know, so the battery ended up dying on me. So I'm here trying to spear one of the chops. And this spot where the chops are is 51 feet. I end up with this one because of the camera battery, I didn't get to capture when I spear it. So we've been in the water for quite some time now and it's time for us to get out. Yes, my people, so we jump out of the water, you know. Yeah man, we can cannot come out and we're in the sea well. Yeah man. And the, the catch, we get a lovely catch today. Yeah man, and, uh, you don't know. We get a nice size fish and quite two other small fish. Two other smaller size fish. Yeah man, and the water. Clean when we we, we we go in there at first, but after the current change and start we hope to see and chop some dirty water from around another. Uh, one beer around there, so so a uh, sandy here as so I keep a whole heap of dirty water. Yeah man, and the winds are getting really high now. Yeah man, and we know the water for about, for about four hours. A search, a search. We don't find not much. We just find you know one barracuda. We find one. Uh, the catcher yeah man so this is the catch this is uh, how I'm, uh, I'm left his scale okay, now, 
I want to weigh that one now. But the bar is big still. It might go about. Um, it's, uh, may I say this about 15 to 14 pounds. Uh, a nice size one. Yeah, man. And um, we have a, about a quarter pound jack there. So. Uh, we have one look at Macrilla. Really so see me. Wow, phone size. Yeah, man. Uh, we have one chub over here. So. Uh, two chub get shot in about. You know the spear get stuck with one of them and them come off in the hole. Yeah man. So you can know the slap your barra you know. Nice barra this. Yeah man. I may find it chub there and the jacket, you know? Uh, as we say, we never did find nothing much out there. The wire. The wire. Go on back for them no. Go on we a barra man before we clean up. It look like rain is going to fall now mm. We just have to clean them up peeps Because we don't know, we don't want to wear a bar but The place is dark up Yeah man, the place is dark up man, see there The piece of rain looks like it is going to start yes, So we do we do to move Run off. Nice fat bar. When you got him out, yeah. we can weigh him still uh, uh, and did duck out the, the, the gut uh, sitting, you know? We know how much in here. Nice one, this, you know? Nice, nice fish, this, my people. And that one is well solid, too, you know? See, sitting in my pan him. Yeah man, now uh, see fly them a uh, uh, jam jam him already there. Yeah man, and Kenado, and Kenado lick him in saying that guy is wicked pan his spear, so he's not lazy. Now he's toxic in his blood, you know. Because that is an next sign again, too, you know. When he barely move all and he shot them and he nah give no trouble. Yeah man, when he shot them, and he not get a spine or a head shot and then just barely move, you know, sitting around with them, they sick. I want to go long bad pan his spear out there. And so, I try to beat the rain. That now have no skill. People say so rain and fall, you know. So I take your time and go uh, get him up, go to him out and thing. Yeah, you don't know a thing set, you know. Yeah. Now that fish them clean up already. Yeah, so. yeah, get him go out, you know. You know? Yeah, man, he done scale. Cut out the gill, draw the chipe. Kind of ease off a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Little, little bit. You caught him? Yeah, man, so. Barra finish up, you know. 
Nice one. We still have way when we go up there. So we take about a pound in chipe way and in chipe big and elevator chipe come out of him. And if you can pick up your white white there, so. Yeah man, I eat that there, so you look how fish them have your bunks here already, you know? All the heap of fish you only eat it. So I eat that there now, you know? Head up the hill. Yes, my people, so you don't know why that, you know. You head up the hill, the rain still a fall. You stop a while ago and start, but you know, you gone up with the fish already, so you head up there. So, I want to look up the cups here, you know, I cook a piece of the barra still. Because you don't know how we deal with it, we catch and we cook, you know, and catch and give it. Yeah, man. So, you know, just pay the one, take one look up piece, do a cook up here, you know, you don't know the big set. We are going to go see what we so let's go and hold on. Yes, my people, so see when I come home with you. I don't bother with none of the barra here, man. Because right now, I still have barra in my fridge, see me, you know? Yeah, man, barra got get a little common, you know? You know? Still one of the best fish, you know? One of the best, you know? But, you know, I eat it a lot, so. What I go do, I have a few more fish I have in the fridge already. I may think about something, but uh, I go do a long time I do some soup. So I go do a little chub soup because this is the best way you can really cook a chub in a soup. Yeah, man. So that's why I really get that one, you know? Yeah, man. I go do some chub soup. I go put the fridge, the jacket on the fridge as well. And next day we can cook that. So some chops. Yes, so go and watch now. Go and prepare up everything. And get, get everything in the pot, alright? Yeah, so the water will away upon the chop, you know? Yeah man, so we have a drop in here you now. We have a cry of some pumpkin and paper skeleton and thyme. Yeah man, carrot, whole heap of thing that Irish potato there, so. Mm. You have yellow yam there so and so sweet potato, you know? Yeah man. Yeah man, I have a drop two dumpling in it as well. Mm. And so I boss it chub in a two. Put him in the pot. So when him boil out, you take out some of the bone them and you know what we don't want. Yeah man. Nice already, you know, well nice. Yeah man, and it dumpling not going there yet. No noogle not going there yet. No yam not going there yet. This a yam, you know, I will get peel up. I don't know if it's set. So the yam, them here, so. Well set, you know. I will put them in the pot, you know. Still not going in the same way now. The jump in the dumpling, you know. Dumpling, you know. Some of this, like, 
Julian and time, you know, you know. Me and Pepper. Don't know. This is what's going on right here. So jump in the man at the pot, you know. First, the noogle. Yeah man, I'm so uh, going for the soup and now the uh, soup done, you know, well thick. I'm going to dish it out, you know, you know. Yes, yes, so see the, the finish here you now. Yeah man, some chub soup this, you know. Yeah man, and this is the best way to deal with the chub, you know, because otherwise, you know, eat good. Yeah man, and that's why they call them trash fish all over the world, you know. Some place people love them, but... They know they are soup fish them, you know. So this is it. Yeah man. So you don't know the thing, you know, guys. I was so go on for this year now. Yeah man, it's been a while since my gym go on bowl of soup. So I was so go on for this. So remember, you know. Love and respect, you know, to all supporters, you know. Yeah man, give thanks, yeah man. To all our support from over the years, yeah, man. so you know, just continue support and they continue to show out the video, them all right, and do what we have to do, help each other, you know, yeah, man. So you don't know, you know, share up, subscribe, notification bell as usual, yeah, man, and that's all things I check out, you know, so we do see you in the next one, alright?